bringing you the latest from Pakistan. Now, the government in Pakistan is trying to curtail the powers of its chief justice. Some Supreme Court judges are calling it a one-man show that needs to be immediately stopped. The federal cabinet has already approved a bill for this. The aim is that Pakistan's top court could not be dependent on decisions by one man. Now, the discussion erupted hours after the Supreme Court took up a special case. Imran Khan's PTI challenged the postponement of elections in Punjab. The Chief Justice took Suomoto cognizance over the case, bringing a bench of his own. But now the proceedings stand dismissed as of now. The bill passed by the Cabinet states today clearly states that any cause, matter or appeal before the apex court would be heard by a bench of three judges and not only by the Chief Justice. It added that the decisions of the committee would be taken by a majority. The bill also proposed changes to other aspects of the law. It said that a party would have the right to appoint its counsel of choice for filing a review application under Article 188 of the Constitution. Now, an application pleading urgency or seeking interim relief shall be fixed for hearing within 14 days from the date of its filing. The bill has now been tabled in the joint session. For more on this story, we are joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief, Anas Malik from Islamabad. Anas, how will the curtailment in powers of the Chief Justice affect the judicial system in Pakistan? Well, Shivan, it's a two-edged sword. It depends on which side of it you are at and which side you are looking at. This is a demand, uh, the clipping down of 184.3 of the Constitution that basically pertains to the sumoto notice of the Chief Justice uh, has, been, has been there for years, for, in fact, for decades. I remember uh, People's, Party's, uh, People's Party's late Ayaz Sumro, who was the law minister as well, had been going around like a headless chicken at that point of time and trying to seek consensus to clip the powers of the Chief Justice of Pakistan, saying, that 1843, the Sumoto cases or the per, the the, uh, the article that pertains to Sumoto, it should allow a review. And today, uh, after the Prime Minister's address, in which he had alluded or hinted at this legislation being done, the Federal Cabinet meeting was held at where I am at the Prime, uh, at the National Assembly. And uh, a short while ba back, this bill was stabled. As the Nazir Tarar, the Law Minister, uh, has said that uh, this is to do with 1843. That that uh, the uh, parliament, uh, uh, he cited previous cases as an example where there was interference in legislature, where there was there was sumoto on even pettiest of the issues, including the point where uh, where there was sumoto notices taken when there was uh, too much of sewage water accumulated in a street that had been done by previous chief justices. He cited that as an example without naming anyone, and he said that uh, he has proposed this amendment where he said that the uh, uh, the cases of uh, uh, one eighty four three or sumoto should be redirected before a three-member bench or, or a three-member committee of the judges which comprises of the chief justice of pakistan and two senior most judges uh, and the decision by majority would then lead to a sumoto being done any matter matter uh, uh, of these uh, of the judges will be before the committee and a sumoto would be having a minimal of three benches Interestingly, it also talks about the review of the intra-court appeal and that a larger bench would only be able to review such cases and in ca or, or a, a sumoto case as well because previously we've seen the case of Nawaz Sharif, the Panama case, uh, it was taken under 184.3 of the constitution and there is no review. So they have given this provision of review under this proposed amendment or this proposed bill. But what was really interesting today was the last bit of the uh, of today's proceedings. Maria Aurangzeb, the uh, the the Minister for Information had tabled a resolution, and just uh, and it's a very damning resolution. I will not. I would not be mincing my words. Uh, it is directed towards the judiciary, but calling on to the judiciary to please stop interfering in legislative matters. It talks about that, uh, it alludes rather that the judicial interference is responsible for the political turmoil in the country. It also says that uh, the parliament, this house, expects the judiciary to refrain from political interference. It also says that uh, the Election Commission of Pakistan is an independent institution and that it also asked the judiciary to not to interfere in uh, the matters pertaining to the election commission because political stability is necessary 
for economic stability and uh, the, uh, the resolution that was tabled by the, uh, by the information minister, it also said that was unanimously adopted. It said that all uh, uh, elections or all pollings should be held under Article 224 of the Constitution together in the country uniformly and that uh, controversial matters should be heard in a unanimous manner. So a very damning resolution there, a very, a quite of an eventful, a dramatic day here at the Parliament of Pakistan first clipping the wings or trying to clip the wings of the Chief Justice and then the resolution itself. Now the, the, the bill has been sent to a parliamentary committee, they are to convene tomorrow and we are expecting the bill to go through the parliament or through at least the National Assembly, the lower house of the parliament tomorrow, sometime tomorrow and then onwards to the Senate. Shivan. Thank you for all those updates Anas.